Synthmaster by KV331 is one of the most comprehensive soft synths on the market, offering an assortment of synthesis methods, accessed via an easy-to-use semi-modular layout, and a bank of over a thousand presets programmed by some of the world's most renowned sound designers. It's no surprise, then, that Synthmaster has attracted high praise from an impressive list of artists, including Armin van Buren, Martin Garrix, and Zed. Every sound, including drums in this demo track, was created using Synthmaster with its own internal effects. In this computer music hands-on session, we'll dive into the brand new features added in Synthmaster's recent 2.7 update. Our review of Synthmaster 2.7 is out now in Computer Music Issue 222. And you can grab the demo right now at www.synthmaster.com, of course. The building of a Synthmaster patch usually starts in the oscillator section, where you'll find oscillators 1 and 2. Choose between basic, additive, wavetable, and vector synthesis types. Then take your pick from a large selection of waveforms. Modulators 1 to 4 can be used as FM and or AM sources for oscillator modulation. And as of version 2.7 can now also be used as sub oscillators. Filters 1 and 2, which incidentally work in parallel series or split mode, offer multiple digital and analog modes. The latter of which are based on the celebrated ladder filter design, which self-oscillates when the resonance is cranked right up. The filters also have adjustable distortion circuits built in, Routable before, after, or inside. Synthmaster comprises two layers, so everything you see on the main page is doubled up. That's four oscillators and four filters then. Each layer can take advantage of up to 8 unison voices with detune spread, cutoff spread, and pan spread. and there are envelopes, LFOs, an arpeggiator, effects, and a vocoder built in too. It all comes together nicely in a gigantic modulation system with over 650 targets and 95 sources. New in Synthmaster version 2.7 is the algorithm field in the oscillator section, which enables you to twist up your waveforms in a variety of fun ways. The default algorithm is spectral low pass, rolling off high frequencies via the tone knob. So effectively, the tone knob does what it always did, but now we can also select high pass from the algorithm menu for cleaning up low frequencies. 
Other spectrum algorithms include low and high shelves, band pass, and band stop. The bend algorithms consist of bend plus, bend minus, and the obligatory bend plus minus, all of which contort the waveform at various points, as shown in the now animated waveform display. Note that right-clicking on the oscillator waveform display now gives you the option to switch to the spectral display. This lets you see the spectrum of one period of the waveform and it updates in accordance to the chosen algorithm. There are five sync algorithms with several window shapes for creating analog-style oscillator sync patches without the need to engage multiple oscillators. Check out the basic square oscillator with the sync try window algorithm. At first it produces a sawtooth waveform, but as this knob is raised, we get the classic screaming sync square effect. Under the other algorithms, Pulse 1 creates an effect similar to pulse width modulation. Except that it'll work on any waveform, producing undeniably modern textures. Pulse 2 provides an alternative pulse width modulation style effect that sounds particularly nice on a sawtooth waveform. Finally, the bit crush algorithm reduces the digital resolution of the waveform. If you're a chiptune fan, then this one's particularly wicked combined with Synthmaster's envelopes, which include the option to reduce the bit depth for staggered 8-bit style amp envelopes. Synthmaster already had the option to stack up to 8 oscillator voices, but version 2.7 introduces a new Voices tab dedicated to controlling those additional oscillators for more detailed unison design. Turning up the pitch drift and or detuned spread gives us this energetic swarm of oscillators. But now we can edit the detuned curve to bunch up the detuned oscillators closer or further away from the center. With the new phase spread parameter, we apply a slightly different amount of the selected algorithm effect to each voice. The Pulse 1 algorithm is generally awesome for this. Voices Mix lets you turn down the additional voices relative to the center oscillator. And Stereo Spread pushes the oscillators out across the stereo field. Alternatively, use the layer unison at the top of the interface to double the number of voices and pan them hard left and right for a more even stereo image. This is often preferable when using phase spread, preventing the sound from becoming lopsided. Modulators 1 to 4 in the previous version of Synthmaster 
could already be used to create oscillator FM effects in classic digital phase modulation or typical analog frequency modulation styles, as well as metallic sounding amplitude modulation. The 2.7 update sees them expanded into full sub-oscillators though. In fact, you can tune them to whatever pitches you want, so don't let the term sub-oscillator belie their potential. See the little X button next to the oscillators in each layer's block diagram? Clicking it switches the modulators from add to multiply for use as sound generators rather than amplitude modulators. All four modulators have the same set of algorithms and pitch drift features as oscillators 1 and 2, so they're effectively a whole set of additional oscillators, albeit with their feature set restricted to the equivalent of a single voice in basic mode. This is a really cool addition for creating rich and complex patches, especially when you get into modulating the modulators with each other, or themselves. The wavetable oscillator display has been refreshed with a slightly tweaked workflow. The mouse wheel can now be used for selecting waveforms for the 16 slots. Also, all of the 16 algorithms work for the wavetable oscillator. This means for many algorithms, you have control in three dimensions, wavetable index, tone, and the current algorithm parameter. It's not only the oscillator section that's been reworked. The analog filters have a new non-linearities parameter that governs the amount of non-linearities used in the analog filter code, with three different levels, low CPU, medium CPU, and high CPU. KV331 Audio were proud to tell us that the low CPU option consumes roughly half the CPU cycles of the previous version of Synthmaster. Presets in Synthmaster 2.7 can be saved as banks to be exported to Synthmaster Player for iOS. So now you can take those super fat, insanely modulated FM Munison patches to the local watering hole on your iPad and enjoy hordes of smitten groupies fawning over your live waveform bending performances. <coughs> Seriously though, you can't knock tablet desktop cross compatibility like this for convenience. We've barely scratched the surface of what Synthmaster 2.7 can do, but hopefully you now have an idea of how easy it can be to cook up quality synth patches with it for use in the studio, on stage, or on the go. Download the demo at www.synthmaster.com and read our review in Computer Music Magazine, issue 222.